It's the number one show in the streets. streets. Hood Rich Radio. Radio with DJ Scream. Green. 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 Hey, Rich Radio, number one show in the streets. It's time for the Superstar Check-In. Of course, it's Friday, so we're going down yes. with the Hood Rich Happy Hour with Beja Rodriguez. Yes. Welcome back to Hood Rich Radio. Oh, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. Before we start this interview, we got to do a few things. First off, happy birthday, Leo. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you're, you. You're, yeah. Are you giving your age out? Yeah, I'm 21 now. You're 21? Yep. Should have brought some bottles. I know, right? <laughs> I'm so excited about being 21. I've like been wanting to be 21 since I was like 16. I'm like, Didn't I can't wait to be 21. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's really not I yeah. feel like I mean but it's like the last age that's gonna matter really before I turn 30 right. maybe like 25 you but realize, really 30 you realize all of them yeah just it's just you know it's yeah. whatever what's up with you though how everything been <laughs> everything's been good I got a new little deal on the table with Street okay. Scholars and um I it's obviously on the table or it's oh no 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 I already signed like okay. that's my label okay. um you know we got a new single Necessary that yeah. we just put out August 4th yeah. so we are well today so we're just you know pushing that we're super excited about it it's mm-hmm. gonna be really good this is actually one of my favorite songs right. I felt like it would be perfect for like the time yeah. you know so yeah. I'm really excited about last it last time we were talking about R&B and how it didn't feel like people were embracing R&B yeah does it feel different now with Jacquees and SZA and- yeah I think it, it does feel different you know what I'm saying like I think it's a lot of amazing artists that are out right now who yeah. are really like redefining what R&B is right. but, and they're still keeping like those R&B undertones but still staying true to who they are Absolutely. and um, I think it's just really dope like SZA Jacquees I love the bed record uh mm-hmm. My guy Forte and Nash, they did that one, and it was just super dope. So I'm really liking where R&B is going now. Last time we talked, I was like, I don't know, yeah, but... Wait, wait, I remember clearly it was the VH1 Honors. Yeah. And they did, like, this big reunion, like, R&B was, is dead, but here's the reunion, and it's over. And yeah. Was like, yo, it's some dope R&B people It is, here. it is. Gotta, find them yeah and I think that now like it's starting to become a bit more mainstream again like people are still being who they are within that but they're still staying true to like what R&B is so I think it's dope Right. Do you write? Do you write um all of your records? I don't write all. Well, I write. I help write on all of them. Okay. Like I don't completely just write one record by myself. I have before, mm-hmm. but lately I've been collaborating with like other songwriters because I feel like you know you can always be better and learn something from somebody. Right. So I've been collaborating with a lot of different people. Like on this one, it was me, uh, this girl named Carla Page, right. sincere, and then this guy named Jay Owens right. and Swag who produced the record. He also writes. Right. So we all just kind of got in and we just figured out what it was and it just came out really dope so I've heard of the grapevine that if, if if you're put on the spot to sing you can actually sing like you have a voice yeah right I'm not yeah. gonna make you sing right yeah. don't worry <laughs> <laughs> I'm like preparing myself I'm mentally. Not, I'm like, all right, what song know, are you no, gonna sing? Good. We might get there. <laughs> we might get there. But well, how do you feel about people who perform live and then you know it doesn't sound like it sounds on the radio? It's all process. Um, I, me personally, I feel like it could be one or two things. Like I feel like it's a lot of things that play into singing live, and I think a lot of people don't really know that. Mm-hmm. Like one, you're singing live in front of like a whole bunch of people so that within itself is different than you just being in the booth and like kind of being able to get it over whenever you want to but I think it is so necessary that you um, know how to sing live and know how to sound like your records or even if you don't sound like the record you sound just as good as how the record sounds because it's like if you're an R&B singer or if you're just a singer in general you have to be able to like yeah. show people that you really sing you know what I mean like right. you can't just be like oh I'm a singer and then they're like okay we'll sing something and you're like uh yeah. I don't know <laughs> and if you mess up just do the Adele yeah be like I messed up start over <laughs> yeah you know what I'm saying yeah now we talked about guys last time last time your uh, your MCM was I think Odell Beckham yeah you remember that yeah the wow MCM. wow have um, you changed up I d- you no. grown up a little bit you want somebody yeah I little- really know like now i think now maybe i'm more into like soccer players soccer players point. yeah they i like soccer players yeah i think that they they're always really really cute looking but right now i've kind of been like okay i want to go out the country now like okay. i don't want to just stay dating in this country like yeah, i want to go to like other places and meet different type of guys and right. you know see what else is out there maybe rihanna inspired me because she got her little Word. dubai boo i'm like okay that's what i need to be on <laughs> yeah. what's some of your turnoffs in uh the dating scene or, or relationships like what's your deal break because your turn offs mm. just make you just make that face right there. Yeah, I don't like I don't like when like somebody breath stinks okay. or yeah. I don't like when someone 
does too much and to me doing too much is like just kind of going overboard like you're trying to be like extra something whether it's extra nice like extra polite whatever like you're trying to be too much like I feel like I don't know like I just like somebody who's I'm, who I'm able to vibe with like because to me like looks are kind of minute like if I vibe with a person then I just kind of vibe with them you know so it's like I think that if you just have a really dope personality and that type of stuff, then I'm cool with you. But I can't do bad breath. I can't do, like, just doing too much. You know, that's just the only two so things. you don't like the loud, obnoxious... Yeah, I don't like obnoxious behavior. Like, right. if we're at a restaurant, we're ordering food, like, you mad loud. Like, you don't right. have to be so loud. We at a restaurant. What about a dude in the club with the honey bottles? It's like the Bentley outside or the Rafe outside. But is it rented though? You know what oh. I'm saying? Because it could be that, but then it could not be that. See, right. I feel like me personally, I feel like the people who have like the people who really don't have much to say are usually the loudest people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like if you see somebody who really has something going on, like they always kind of just ducked off. You know, they st- it doesn't mean they're not turned. Like it doesn't mean they're not in the party, but they're not flexing as hard. Like if you see Jay Z now, he just got on a black t shirt right. and some jeans. Or like right, right, the right. guy who owns Facebook, he wears like the same jeans, same t shirt, Skechers right. every day. You know what I mean? So I think that it just, but it just depends on the person too. So I don't know. I feel like you kind of got to talk to people and see what they own to kind of figure out what it is. Right. Yeah. Give us some of your curve. Like how do you curve, guys? Give the give the give the ladies some game on it. Some I'll cool say, ways to curve. Curve guy. Um, like if a guy asks me like, "Are you at home?" and I'm home, I'll be like, "No, I'm not home right now, but I'm about That's to be lying. there." That's not curvy. Well, or like, <laughs> or like, I'm trying to think because I kind of just. Somebody just okay. You're at a car wash. Yeah. You're at a gas station. Okay. You just got gas. Guy just approaches you, and he's just open. There's nobody around. I'm like, I'm okay, thanks. I gotta get in the car. But what if he's aggressive? Like, come on, girl, I'll buy you something you don't have. I just gotta get in the car you and shut the, the door. You know, because right. because seriously, like as a black woman, you know what I'm saying. You just never know like what type of situation you're coming into with different men. You know, yeah. so like I've always been taught if you at a gas station and someone comes up to you mm-hmm. and they're trying to talk to you, like you just gotta ignore. Like even when I'm with my mom and like somebody comes up and they're trying to talk to me, and I'm like, no, I'm okay she's like why would you even say that much you just shouldn't say nothing they don't even need to know you're interested or you can hear them i'm just like well i don't want it to turn into a situation where they start you know trying to cuss me out because they know i hear them right so i just try to be as polite as possible on but. the flip side are you open to meeting complete strangers like you, will you meet somebody at the airport will you meet somebody at the gym yeah it just depends on like the situation okay. you know it really depends on the person like my mom always told me like you could tell if somebody is like off by like their eyes mm-hmm. like if you you look at their eyes like you can kind of tell like if something's like mm-hmm. disconnected there mm-hmm. so I'm real big on eye contact I'm real big on like body language and how you move how you speak so it just depends like if I feel like the person is cool if we at the airport the gym like if I'm just out and I think you're cool I'll be like oh all right like maybe we could vibe mm-hmm. and then maybe when we text it may be something different mm-hmm. but you know okay. you never know that's what's up how many <laughs> people do you have on call block uh wow or silent mode or do not disturb mode. maybe like i would want to say two or three only or because three. i don't like people who text back to back to back to back to back okay. like if i if you text me once and i don't respond just assume that something's going on right. you know what i'm saying until yeah. i'm like hey what's going because i don't double text like if if somebody like if i text somebody and they don't text back i'm just like okay yeah. they're doing something right now don't you hate the group text that don't concern you either like just the big group I just had to tell just... a group message like I was like guys I'm getting too many text messages I have to leave this right. group message like right. just hit me when it's about me because I get like they'll be planning a whole 30 event. yeah like 50 messages on my phone like what is this right. you know so it's just whack I, I don't really like group messages unless it's like my friends friends you know right yeah right so let's talk about the new single Necessary yes tell yes, us yes. how it came about what space were you in when you put it together just just explain to us the creative um, process Necessary kind of came about like I'm at a point now just personally in my life where I feel like it's time for me to be more so about myself like the last time we saw each other I was kind of like on the whole love wave and you know talking about that and now I feel like I kind of just want to have fun like I'm 21 and I don't want a boyfriend you know what I mean right now so I just want to like turn up and really just get into myself and when I was in the studio with swag I'm like yo I just want to do a record that like my friends could be in the club they could turn up to it and they could still relate to it and I feel like a lot of young people can relate 
you know what I'm saying? It's a necessary. It's just, I'm going to get it by any means necessary. You know what I mean? And that's kind of everybody's end goal. So I feel like it's super relatable. And we just kind of got in there. Like, we were all cutting melodies. And, you know, I cut the, the melody for the hook and swags. Like, that's it. And then we kind of just built around that. So it was just, it was really fun. Like, it happened really fast. Like, we did the song in, like, one night. And we utilized, like, every single hour we had within the session. And, like, just got it done. And we nailed it. It was great. Okay, and it's leading up to an EP, an album? Yeah, an EP first, probably. Like, I'm still, honestly, I'm in the middle of doing an EP or album because I've dropped two EPs already. Right. So I'm feeling like it's album time for me, you know what I mean? But I still want to give my fans something that they can have, like, before the album that kind of just gets them ready for it. So I'm trying to figure out how to wean them into that because the new music is just super, like, about yourself you know what I mean like I kind of play less on love and more on just being empowered as a woman and like figuring out who you are so you know speaking of being empowered um as a woman before you ride out and we get into the single yeah if it's a young lady out there she's doing her thing she has a lot of hate a lot of adversity maybe she's on social media and there's a lot of negativity maybe when she just goes out she just attracts negativity how do you think that a young lady should deal with that um I say just keep going you know what I mean like I think that when you know, when you're a person like myself who has acquired, like, just so many different talents at such a young age, like, that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? A, certain people may not understand why you are the way you are. I feel like you can't ever let anybody discourage you. Like, if you feel like this is your journey or this is your path, like, you have to keep going and finish it out. You know what I mean? Because people don't know everything, you know? And if you listen to somebody who's like, oh, nah, like, you should do this or you should do that, like, it may take you off of what you have going on. Like, me, myself, I... I see, you know what I'm saying, where my brand should go and who I should be. So, like, I have people who advise me and within my team on what to do. But ultimately, like, I make the final decision on if I want to go this way or that way. And I think that just as young women, you know, because we all, like, just talk about each other. You know, outside people may talk about you. You just have to keep inside your head, like, okay, I'm going to just keep going. I'm going to keep doing me and keep being different. Do you, you think know? that some people might be pressured to the point of just deleting their social media? Yeah, I think that some people do. Have you ever do. had that moment where you're just like, oh, the hell with this, I just... I may delete the app, but I never delete the page. Like, If I feel like it's getting a bit much, I'll just delete the app and kind of take a break. But right. I think that, you know, you can't let um, words on social media like affect your real life because, you know, when you get off social media and you go outside your door, it's a completely different world right, from what right. it seems. Like, if you get on social media, you would think that things are one way and then you go outside and it's completely different so I think that you have to always keep in mind that you know social media it gives people a platform to feel important and say how they feel but you know in real life like do all of those people really matter you know what I'm saying like you have to keep in mind the people whose opinions truly matter you know so that's just kind of how I deal with it okay. that's what's up Asia we appreciate you coming back thank to you the so Rich much Radio. for having me get into this new single necessary yes. introduce it for everybody and give everybody your social media so they can get on your nerves oh man for sure <laughs> well guys it's my new single Necessary it's available everywhere iTunes Apple Music Spotify Tidal all that stuff you can follow me on all my social media at Beja Rodriguez and my website is www.bejarodriguez.co there you go there you go <laughs> new music right here from Beja Rodriguez on Hood Rich Radio turn us yeah. up